Hey, how's it going there? Sorry it's a little loud, uh, but I want to make a video on how to check your electrical system a little bit, like your battery and stuff. For instance, this car's been sitting for a while, and I needed to put a jumper on it to fire it up. And so I figured I'd test out some other things, and I thought this might make a good video for people wanting to know how to do this. So what you want to start out with is the engine's running, obviously, and uh, got a voltmeter here. You can just read your manual on how to operate your voltmeter, but get it all set up, get it on the correct range, and then while the engine's running, uh, I expect to see around 14 volts coming from the alternator to charge the battery. So that's what I'm going to check first. I'm just going to turn on my voltmeter, and you should the negative to the negative terminal, positive to positive terminal. And there is getting uh, 14.29. And so now I will uh, shut off the engine and see what kind of reading I get. And I'm expecting a good battery will probably get to about 13 volts if it's all charged up. Um, and so this is what we're seeing is what's getting outputted from the engine running from the alternator. That's, that's why it's a little bit high and it's supposed to be about that range there. Let's see what happens when I turn off the engine. A lot easier to talk now that the engine's not running. Um, so, the same deal, everything's set up still. Oops. And they're at 12.61, uh, which uh, is acceptable. Um, it's not idea, but it's not too bad. Uh, anything, when you start getting closer to 12, that probably means you got a bad battery. Also, another thing to check is uh, the different batteries. The batteries nowadays in the auto parts store seem to be sold with like a one year, two year, or three year lifespans. So you kind of want to know your how old your battery is. Nowadays, a lot of them will just put a sticker of the date. The battery is kind of like taken to the store um, so in my case it's uh, 212 so February 2020 so let's say at most this is a three-year battery then uh, you know it's gonna probably it's only gonna make it three years they got that pretty well dialed in uh, I'll make a separate video explaining how they know exactly when those batteries are gonna die um, but between the, the age of the battery kind of telling you what it is and if it was like 12 volts coming up then I got something wrong hopefully I just need to charge the battery up and this is also why let's say it was reading 12 even right now that's a little bit too low um, especially let's say it was reading like 11 instead that's way too low and what will happen is you'll make your alternator work too hard to charge the battery there's something wrong there um, and you, a bad battery you can burn up a good alternator and uh, the reverse is true too a bad alternator can burn up a good battery um, so when you're working on those things you want to make them both make sure they're both good your alternator and your battery the way we checked the alternator again was when it was putting out 14 that's for the most part looking good and uh, the 12.6 that's a pretty good range base range for a battery so that tells me this battery is good so hope that makes sense also most auto parts store at least in America you can go to and they'll test out your battery and your alternator for free um, they have a fancy scanner uh, there but it's a good idea to go in there uh, with an idea of what you're expecting that way if they say like well your battery's bad and they tell you it was putting out or your alternator is bad, it's not putting out enough voltage, you kind of already knew it was 14 volts, and if their machine's saying like 10 or something weird, you know something's up there. There's a lot more to an alternator than just the output voltage, though. Same with the battery. Um, but this will just give you a, a rough test to kind of give you a baseline of what you're looking at. I'm sorry this is a little bit wordy, but I hope it makes sense. Anyways, uh, if this made sense to you and you like this video, maybe give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave them below, and I'll see if I can get back to you on them. And uh, thanks for watching.